the reason I'm just doing this by myself because everyone else is sitting at home doing their school work and their uni work hopefully or busy doing the farm work so I've got to do this anyway. I don't want to do this with anyone else. It's a bit, I feel a bit dorky really. Hi, I'm Lisa McIntyre. I farm with my husband Sean McIntyre at Carabeel. Our farm's called Taronga. I also am a land care facilitator. I look after three land care groups in quite a large area, the Mirinatwa, Paniaba where we are, and I help with the Glen Thompson groups as well. And I work at the Dunkel Consolidated School. We've got a Stephanie Alexander kitchen garden program going, and I work in the garden, so I've done that for quite a few years and uh, absolutely adore it. We come and we sit round here. There's a little fire pit that we light during the winter and we make billy tea. Kids do all the work here and we oversee what they're doing and advise them not to pull out the onions instead of the grass weeds. So we're very lucky we've been able to involve the kids with many different organisations and people coming to visit. We've had Dunkel Pastoral bring in their quolls and their sugar gliders and we've built nest boxes with them and kids have helped put them up along Salt Creek in Dunkeld. We do wildlife surveys and whatever's going on in land care seems to somehow happen in in the school garden as well. I'm not from round here, I'm not a local. I'm from Melbourne, from East Brighton. It was suggested I go to an egg college, so I ended up at Longrenong, which is where I met Sean, who is my husband. And we met in first year in 1984, and he said he was from the Western District. And I thought, oh great, you know, I met someone I really like, and he's from Footscray. So I had no idea where the Western District was. To my great relief, I found out that the Western District was Western Victoria in this beautiful part of the world. He's been here for five generations, his family. When I moved down here, I hadn't really done much volunteering. We, we didn't have it, uh, we didn't need to volunteer at home in Melbourne. So volunteering, I guess, with Landcare happened in, we got it going in about 93. So Sean and I ran the group for quite a few years and um, he stepped back and I'm still going with it. I make volunteering part of my life firstly because it was a bit selfish because I didn't know anybody and I wanted to meet some people. Then it just became fun I guess. I think if you can help someone achieve something that they couldn't have done by themselves that's a reward. We've done things like woodland bird monitoring, bio blitzes, trees to the river projects. We had evergreen sites, paired paddock project sites was involved with the Cavendish Red Gum Festival, Red Gums of course, and with Finding Nature we um, involved landholders, they've been revegetating their farms for the last 20 odd years, so now we're seeing what benefits the reveg has on the native environment. So we're looking at seeing what birds, animals and plants have come in because of all the reveg work that they've done for the salinity and the erosion. So Grampians Ark is a broad scale landscape scale fox baiting program which we run in conjunction with Parks Victoria. We really started coordinating it properly because when we were encouraging and helping people plant their corridors, a few people said oh yes but that'll be corridors and habitat for foxes. If you change one thing you expect quite a few changes. We thought right we'll, we'll coordinate this properly and get the Grampians Art program going. Many women are the key starters to doing some environmental work on their properties. Here comes the rain. <laughs> women play a huge role on farms and it's only probably only now that we're able to recognise it or we feel that we can shout it from the rooftops and I don't know why. When I first came here, like Sean's mum, Cindy, she did everything on the farm. Like she drove the tractors, she roused in the wool shed, she worked in the, in the yards, she did everything. And then she would come home and put three course meal on the table for breakfast, lunch and dinner. If the women weren't there, where would, uh, where would we be now? They're just amazing. This is our first go, 29 years ago at direct seeding. And this is especially one spot you can come and breathe deeply and let your heart rate just uh, slow right down. If you're shouting at the dogs or the sheep aren't going in the right way, just stop for a minute and take a deep breath. And um, anyway, it looks like the sheep are giving up on me, so I better go and feed them. I'm doing what I want to do. And we have really horrible moments, just like everybody. And I don't think, like, we're no different to anyone else. I suppose it's when you sit down in front of a camera and you have to 
think about what you've got, that you really do think about what you've got and, um, and how lucky you are.